my dad kwamba kwa sababu my dad always akiona sema you have to start you have to be someone na wewe ni mwanamke unajua eh akao ananiambia sasa hivi wanaume wa wao wanawake mpao just kwa hiyo kila siku kwangu ilikuwa ni threat yani kwamba anakutishia anamwambia utasukuma mkokoteni unataka unataka kunini au anaita wapiga debe yeah yeah so i, I wish my dad angekuepo i see how we come now Yeah, na sizani kama angekuepo maybe ningesipofika hapa labda by, by end of stack. Nafikiri angenisupport zaidi kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anatamani hata nikae na wazungu eti. Eh, <laughs> tumeni <laughs> <laughs> unakaa kikao na wazungu. Yeah. So I already did that. Yeah, so, na sasa hivi umeifanya kwa katika nyanja tofauti, si ndio? Yeah. So ile ambayo ene ile ni safi sana naendelea kujifunza. Uh, mtazamaji unaendelea kujifunza kutoka kwa Ellen eh? Ni mimi mara nyingi wanapenda story ya watu kwa sababu trust me nafanya interview nyingi lakini most of the people ambao unafanya nao ni kwamba kitu ambacho tunajifunza wote ni kwamba watu ambao wanafanya mabadiliko kwenye jamii ya kitanzania lazima kuna historia fulani ya maisha ambayo imemfanya kufika hapo halipo yani hamna mtu soft amefika tu haya maisha ni process ni process ambayo inaanzia katika udogo mpaka kwa msikele naye uh, maisha alijifunza zaidi wakati yuko chuo akaanza kufanya biashara. Pengine eh, kwetu sisi tunaonaga ni kitu ambacho hakiwezekani lakini ile ni wewe unakuwa unatembea nje, unaona jinsi mind ya vijana wenzetu walivyo. Okay. Mtu yuko chuoni anataka kwenda labda ana save kutoka kwenye ile era yake anayoipata ya mkopo, ana save anafanya kitu ambacho ni positive, si ndio? Kwetu sisi huko tuna jamii ambayo saving haipo. Hatufanyi saving kabisa hata mimi mwenyewe nimekuja kujifunza saving huku baada ya kuwa nimechapwa na maisha sana yani nimefundishwa sana ingawa tumepitia kwenye hizo hizo series ambazo tunasema the same story kwa Afrika wengi tunapitia umeona so wajibu wangu ambao nataka ni point yangu ambao nataka kuisema hapa kwa kijana ambaye anatutizama ni kwamba tufike mahali tujue kwamba kila kijana unapaswa kubadilisha mind yako alafu kila unachokiona mbele yako usikione ka, ukione kama opportunity kwa sababu tukikaa tunafikiria mambo ya kwenda kwenye ajira tuko wa Tanzania milioni 50 right serikali na watumishi hawazidi milioni mbili nadhani na bado ajira zimejaa serikalini hmm. sasa hii milioni 48 ita survive wapi lazima tufike mahali tubadilishe hii mindset yetu si ndio ile ni swali moja nataka ni mimi nazungumza nawe kama kijana okay e, umekuwa unaona unakutana na vijana wa aina nyingi na wewe unatokea una, una kwenye historia ambayo umepita chuo vile vile ambavyo kijana mwingine yote anapita mpaka hapa sasa hivi hivi unavyofikiria ukikonfia ukifikiria maisha yako experience yako na maisha ya vijana wengine ni nani hasa mwenye wajibu wa kubadilisha maisha ya kijana kijana mwenyewe ama serikali change start with you change start with you ni haki kuilaumu serikali hapana sio haki kuilaumu serikali wajibu wa kijana kwenye kubadilisha maisha yake ni upi na wajibu wa serikali watengenezea mazingira vijana ni upi wajibu wa kutengeneza we said what wajibu wa kutengeneza i think kijana kama kijana ni wajibu wako ka, kuajilika katika maisha yako na kubadilisha maisha yako mwenyewe yeah. serikali is just a support yeah. you see when you start something mm-hmm. and you need support maybe mm-hmm. lakini usiwe kwamba kijana umekaa unasubiri mm-hmm. serikali kufanyie kila kitu mm-hmm serikali ije ikupe mtaji serikali ije ikufanyie kila kitu okay onesha basi kwamba kijana una una una, una, una lengo gani katika maybe unataka ku ume, umetoka chuo mm. sawa mm. umetoka chuo na pengine labda umesomea nichukulie tu uh, my, my cause maybe uh, vijana wengi walikuta labda me, ametoka ametoka chuo labda amesomea medical mm. labda ni doctor mm. medical laboratory technology or nurse mm. Unajua eh anasema mimi siwezi kujiajili kwa sababu kazi yangu yenyewe maybe mimi sijasoma biashara sijafanya nini lakini kuna vijana ambao wanajiajili kupitia medical you see nimekutana na, na, na vijana wenzangu kutoka Niger yeye uh, ni nurse kwa hiyo akaja na platform ambayo anasaidia uh, mama wajawazito kuwapelekea uh, 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 during the pregnancy delivery 
zile kit unajua mama mjamzito anapokuwa ana, anajifungua kuna zile basic needs anaweza utakiwa kuwa nazo kwa hiyo kuna ile uh, profile nzima ya kits ambazo zinakupo ziko pale so akaja na innovation kwamba yeye anavikusanya ana, ana zile equipment zote anauzia mama wajawazito so you see kwa hiyo ameunda ame kampuni yake ambayo ina supply to hivyo vifaa na mpaka sasa hivi amefika mbali kwa hiyo unaona kabisa kuna innovation na nyingi sana ambazo ziko katika afya lakini kuna mwingine kasoma afya na no hajasoma afya amesoma business you see lakini anakuja na innovation ya afya so unakuja kuna unakuja huwa anawaambia wenzangu kwamba we need to do something katika health care unajua eh haiwezekani wenzetu nchi za wenzetu unakuta mtu kasoma procurement lakini ana innovation ya, ya afya anakuambia kwamba amekuja na mods ambayo ina detect the pneumonia kwa watoto lakini kiangalia the background of huyu mtu kasoma procurement so inakuwaje sisi kama sisi tuna, unajua hiyo inakuja kwa sababu gani tumeshaweka mindset we, we need to be employed katika hospital tena hospitali kubwa ndio tutaonekana kwamba to, yes. Kwa hiyo we love the status. Yeah, way. yeah. Inadhani shida ni kwamba tunapenda status sana. Yeah, kwamba umeshaajiliwa, kwa hiyo umeshafanikiwa. Kwa hiyo inadhani kijana katika uh, kitu chochote ambacho unakuwa umesomea au unakuwa pengine uh, okay hata kama hujasoma. Lakini you need to have something maybe uh, biashara hata service. Unajua kuna wengine pia hawezi kufanya biashara. Unaweza kuanzia hata service yoyote ile, yani mtu wa huduma unaelewa eh ambayo itakuwa ina kuingizia cash in and out utakuwa hujabaki idol utakuwa unajishughulisha kwa hiyo nadhani uwajibu wa kijana katika kutekeleza malengo yake ni ye mwenyewe serikali itakupa support tu okay. na usisubiri someone aje akupe the whole support unajua kuna ule mtu anataka mtaji anataka kila kitu anataka kila kitu na huyo mtu anayetaka kila kitu jua hivyo vitu atakavyopata hata vitaendea kile anachokuwa anakitaka hata kitendea ni vile ipasavyo yeah. kwa sababu yeye ameshazoea kuletewa anajua yeah. kikisha hiki ataletewa asante yeah. sana ile mtazamaji wa jitambue tunaelekea mwisho ni mwisho ni Eleni wewe na hisi tunaweza tukaongea mpaka kesho lakini kwa mujibu wa muda wetu inabidi tu limit nataka uh, tuongee na unifokasia kwenye ile kamera tuongee na huyu kijana wa Tanzania sawa tuongee na huyu kijana wa Tanzania okay emtu mpe usia kufikia Tanzania ambayo ni ya kibunifu zaidi tumpe oh. usia afanye nini anapaswa kuwaje kufikia Tanzania ambayo ni ya kibunifu zaidi okay nitaongelea kuhusu innovation uh, nadhani kwa sasa hivi Tanzania tuna naona tunajitahidi kwa sababu kuna incubation ambazo unatembelea Tanzania hapa tuna incubation nyingi ambazo zina zinalea mawazo na ubunifu wa watu tuna innovation nyingi uh, one of innovation ambayo i mean innovation incubation ambayo nimepitia uh, inaitwa Ndoto Hub ambayo Ndoto Hub ni incubation ambayo inalea mawazo ya vijana uh, this is especially for wanawake yeah. unaenda na wazo lako wanakulea wanakufundisha how to develop kutoka kwenye idea stage na kwenda katika hiyo i mean to reality idea to reality yeah. so i think kama kijana ambaye unaanza katika hii sector ya innovation uh, you need kuingia katika is platform ambazo zina provide training kuna zipo nyingi zipo Bone Hub, Ndoto Hub, Smart Lab. It's just you to find the yeah. source. Yeah. Unajua changamoto iliyopo kwamba kijana anasubiri aletewe taarifa. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. You need to find the information. Yeah. You need to be the, in the circle yeah. of people ambao wamefanikiwa. Yeah. If someone inspire you, find the way to meet him yeah. or her. Yeah. You see. So, uh, I I I need to inspire sana Faraja Faraja mm-hmm. na Nyaland when mm-hmm. I was young niko darasa la 4 yanakuwa miss starting from that point niko namfuatilia lakini today Faraja ni my mentor you mm-hmm. see mm-hmm. so I find the way unajua jinsi ya kumpata lakini kupitia yeye kupitia ndoto hub nimeweza kupata cycle na connection kupitia watu mbalimbali mm-hmm. when you meet someone ana connect na watu wengine mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. uh, na someone like stands maybe uh, i know pius pius you know someone mm-hmm. someone know someone mm-hmm. so it's link you to the chain mm-hmm. so i think vijana um, cha kuanzia ongea tent pia kwa na hizi platform kama hizo incubation pia na um, meeting training ukifika pale you don't have to sit and go mm-hmm. you have to connect yeah. you have to exposure yeah. umekaa uko na um, nime nimeenda nime, nime kwenye seminar au nimeenda kwenye training nimekaa na pius 
we are just busy kwamba wewe unaona kwamba yani wewe umeenda wewe kama wewe you don't know pius ana nini mm-hmm. you, ne, you see